Look, I was in the middle of creating a video on how am I going to proceed in Natlon, and that video will also be lighthearted and a little funny, because that's how I like things here in my channel. But, then I stumbled upon a video, called, Fans, Want to Censor Genshin Impact? Uploaded by, REV, or Rev, or whatever you want to call it. Mind you that these commas at the start and end of the word, fans, are to actually indicate that these are not actually fans, but some disgusting human beings. Which just triggered me, and I think it's important for me to talk about it and make it clear once and for all. Because I know no one except me has the guts to talk about it, and I can even write that on a stone. You might be wondering what actually is in this video that made my blood boil. So first just watch this video. So I don't know if you guys saw this, but there is some crazy stuff involving Genshin Impact and really the whole universe as a whole. So people are trying to make more clothed edits of characters from the franchise. So let's see this, right? A tweet with 60,000 likes sharing this edit right here. So in case you're not understanding what's happening, basically they're taking this brush tool and they're adding more clothing onto these characters. I, I swear to God, if these people discover Sharia law, they're gonna clean their pants. They wanna cover up women so badly that they're celebrating adding more layers of clothing to fictional characters. Dude, you're supporting Genshin Impact. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? These people are so deranged. Get real problems. This is the most first world problem ever. They rely on the fan service. That's what's made Genshin so popular. Oh no, fictional character showing skin. I know it's crazy. It's, a, it's practically a war crime at this point. It's a very small 1 minute 30 seconds video that I just fast forwarded to not waste your time. And I don't intend to make this as a drama video. I just want to speak for some important points regarding the mentality of these types of content creators and how they approach things, as well as how the community think about players and their idea of, I don't know, design sense I guess, is the most non-violent term I can use in this case. So it will be a small video, clearing some very straightforward concepts. But still, take it as a disclaimer, don't watch it if you can get triggered easily. Point number one. I get the relationship between Coomers or Gooners and fictional characters. I get that. I also get that fan service is an important aspect of these kinds of video games. I also get that adding more clothes on women is obviously a sign of being moderate. Oppressed. I mean oppressed. Sorry my tongue slipped. I also get that the only good people in the community are those who want to see all the characters naked and wants to jerk them off all the time. I also get that sexualization is the most empowering thing a woman can have. I know all that. The thing I don't get is that why a content creator is so enraged and upset over someone else making redesigns of some fictional characters just because they put some clothes on. Who the fuck is he to call someone else crazy for making redesigns of fictional characters and then call them that they're obsessed with putting more clothes on women when in reality, this shit show is obsessed with seeing women naked all the time. How dare you put clothes on Genshin characters? What is wrong with you? Also, where he said it's a first world problem Get real problems. This is the most first world problem ever. I'm sure he didn't meant to say first world. He meant to say third world problems. It's just that he was so angry to not think straight. Point number two. Have you ever heard about if you don't know about anything, you should keep your mouth shut? Why did this son of a bitch put Sharia law into this? Now I know all you guys know about Sharia law is oppression and women having hijab on. Because that's what media has always shown you which is obviously the biggest sin in Western world run by none other than Satan himself, but we won't go there for now. But first let me tell you that the person who posted this is not a Muslim. Secondly, if you look at the designs, you'll know that these are all traditional Japanese clothings on characters inspired by Japan. It had nothing to do with not liking a character showing their skin, or putting more clothes on for the sake of putting more clothes on, or anything like that. It is painfully obvious just by looking at the video. The designer just wanted to see how these characters would look like if they had traditional Japanese clothes on. Anyone who has common sense and is not obsessed with hatred towards moderation and women putting on clothes so he couldn't see them naked to jerk off can see it easily in this video. But no, somehow, it became a concern of Sharia law and a third world problem. Do you know what Sharia law actually means? It is the law of living guided by God himself. For example, the teachings God gave to Prophet Isa peace and blessings be upon him, was the Sharia law for the people of Prophet Isa. Same with Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. And the same with Musa, and Ibrahim, and all other prophets, peace and blessings to all of them. Sharia law means the law by God, which you must follow if you want to be dear to him. But putting all that aside, 
to think that a person will get so angry on a thing that doesn't even had to do anything about all of it, and he don't know anything about it either, just boggled my mind. How can someone be so incompetent to be upset on someone else putting character's own traditional clothes on that character? I mean okay if you want your women to dress like a prostitute, do it, who cares? If you want to take all the clothes off from a fictional character, go on, who the fuck cares? But getting angry on someone else putting clothes on their women, or getting upset on someone putting clothes on a fictional character, how disgusting, goes to show what kind of brainwashed mentality these content creators have. Anyways, I don't want to waste more of my time on this. Just wanted to let you guys know that Genshin YouTube, it's more horrible than Genshin Twitter. YouTube content creators just have a platform where they can shit on anything people do on Twitter, no matter how creative it is, or how cool it is. And then their mindless viewers, who I call Control c Control v robots, always copy-paste their exact words without thinking twice. Have a look at the comments in this video. They aren't fans, they're tourists. You know we are not talking about tourists here, right? We are talking about terrorists. They just call it tourists because YouTube policies. So you can understand that if you put clothes on your women, or if you like women to have their clothes on and not be half naked all the time on streets, this is an act of terrorism. Also, you do know who is the biggest terrorist and extremist in Genshin community, right? It's me. So I'll always speak about it. These are not real fans of Genshin Impact. I think this fake fan did an even better job at revealing Japanese tradition than real fans like you who know Japan just by hentai. A wise man said, Censorship is like giving a grown man a steak, but taking it away because a kid cannot handle it. Again, it never was about censorship in the first place. Plus, if you go back to some good old times, you will see women in moderate clothes. This whole sexual appeal is just a way to give women an illusion of power, just so you can use them in your advertisement and fetishes. But hey, I might get cancelled if I say that out loud. These people are insane. Imagine getting triggered over a fictional character showing some skin. I know for a fact that the designer had no problem with fictional characters showing some skin. What I find ironic is that you didn't realize how insane this content creator and you are. Imagine getting triggered over someone putting clothes on a fictional character. Genshin is the biggest example of why gatekeeping is important. It is so infected at this point that it's impossible to de-parasite at all, and they just wait until the parasites grow bored and jump to the next victim to infect. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What do you guys make of this comment? If you can find any heads or tails, do let me know in the comment section. But all I can decipher is that those who cover their women, or put clothes on a fictional character, are parasites. They must be the most horrible people to exist in this world. It's sad because some of the redesigns have some good ideas in them, but they take it too far and make them look like a fancy rapper. This is a perfect example of what I call, brain inflation. It is quite clear that this person understood that the redesigns had some good ideas, and if he never would have watched this video, the thought of too much clothing, or taking it too far, maybe never would have crossed their mind. And the fact that now this person, and all of the people who watch this video will have another layer added to their already immense hatred towards terrorists who likes their women not to look like a how in public. Censorship will never come from fans. If they are fans, they don't want to censor things. If they want to censor things, they are not fans. See guys? Take note. You are not a fan if you don't want to fuck the characters you like. Because of course, putting some clothes on is the worst thing you can do to a fictional character. Now don't get me wrong, I don't have anything to do with the designer. Nor am I trying to defend anyone here. But the fact that this son of a bitch called out on Sharia law and had so much hate against moderate people just made my blood boil. I know no one else will talk about it, that's why I talked about it. Otherwise I would not have done that. And mind you that this problem does not exist in third world countries. It's those so-called advanced countries who are so obsessed with defending all kinds of sins and end up doing this. Anyways, just beware of these kinds of content creators and stay safe, I guess. See ya. Peace.